Hello, and welcome to another episode of Game Time with Drew. Today we'll be taking a look at the alpha demo for Behind. Now, I know even less about this game than I did about Descent. But I do know that the menu has about two seconds of music that's on a loop. Not really a good start. And the sensitivity? I noticed this while watching a video by Mr. Craven. Your vertical sensitivity is fine. Side to side? Actually, no, I said that backwards. Your side to side is fine. Vertical is too much. Okay, I want to get one thing straight. We need his remains. I can't tell you why just yet, but what I can tell you is that it is not a walk in the park. Go to the basement, pick up the bones, and leave. Shouldn't be too hard, right? J dot R. No dot. Okay. <laughs> the, the game almost crashed for a second. It was confused by me hitting space. <laughs> oh my god, these graphics. I'm moving so slow. What? What am I looking at? Is that the... What are the controls? Okay, there's a sprint. That's good. Okay, there's no use button. There's also no crouch. At least it, <laughs> there's the sprint. Oh, it's left mouse button. He's <laughs> who sleeps in here? It's the most awkward bedroom ever it's like in the transitioning area between multiple rooms of a house is that my shadow <laughs> that's fucking silly as shit the, wait i know what this looks like this looks like the um the opening area to the first resident evil game this is totally just the opening area to the first Resident Evil game. And your walking sound sounds like the sound of you walking upstairs in Resident Evil. Can't open the window? What a shame. The door is locked. Ugh, I need to search for a key. Ugh, I read ugh early. Damn it. It's like those awful <laughs> horror games on Game Jolt lols. You mean like this one so far? Wait. Oh! I did it! Okay. We have some Bunsen burners. Four chemicals are needed to create some form of acid that the text is the same color as the background. <laughs> what kind of acid are we making? Oh, I died. Did I? I'm literally in the same spot. Um, it, the problem with this game so far is it gives you use options like that. Like, over, over here, you don't get the red hand that says you can use. Like this, you can use. That's what it indicates. <laughs> okay, I'm just leaving it there. But it, it gives me it here, but I can't. But it was for the key, 
but the use option is so much bigger that I didn't realize was for the key. I also didn't realize there was an antagonist in this game. Good God. Is that what the acid's for? To burn the spi spider web away? What's the freaking... What's the use option here? Fuck off. We have a key now. Why is that window open? Can't close it. Sweet. It's a bit drafty in here. Definitely big exploration day type game. Which I can dig. Oh, we can go outside. Welcome to the house. The entire house is the same noise texture as the stone outside. Oh. <laughs> Why did these hinges go both ways? It's not how a door works. Can I grab that from down here? I can! Oh my god! You have infinite reach on your arms! That's why it's so awkward. Alright. We just finished checking the building today before it was demolished. But unfortunately, the family that wanted the land could not retrieve. Okay. The reason for this was because of the basement. Just one inhale of those old toxic gases could make you hallucinate. Spelled wrong. Maybe faint. We first found this out when me and our team came over. But as we explored the place, one of our workmen ventured into the basement. But we didn't know where he was but he ventured into the basement so you knew where he was he was in the basement okay fair enough we just heard large banging sounds and someone screaming the following it's not here fault it isn't bang it isn't yours bang 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 then there was silence and suddenly an anticlimactic light started to swing above the main hall it hasn't stopped since i think that's the opposite of anticlimactic we went down to rescue him but we found him dead will green frothing fluid oozing from his eyes nose and mouth this is caused from a toxic gas called arsenic pentafluoride try saying that five times fast is that a fucking challenge Arsenic pentafluoride, arsenic pentafluoride, arsenic pentafluoride, arsenic pentafluoride, arsenic pentafluoride. Okay, the fifth one kind of stumbled me a bit. But seriously, arsenic pentafluoride is not exactly a difficult word to say, but fair enough. We thought it was best to leave the house as it is. Lock the basement and put up a toxic sign just to be safe. <laughs> because, you know, locking the door keeps all gases in. The family were distraught when... Not gonna finish, finish that note. Uh, I don't remember what famous writer it was that said that you should never stop writing a mess, like never stop writing a story with a finished sentence. You should always leave the sen sentence unfinished. That doesn't apply to letters that you're going to send to somebody. You should finish your sentence in white. I don't even know what that sound was, or why you have so many tables. Boom. How's it going? That sounds quite a bit like dancing in the moonlight. Is this a chemical? I don't know. It is. Doesn't have a use option. You're clipped into the... Whatever. I didn't leave. You leave.
Oh. I didn't realize I was actually, like, being threatened by anything. I thought it was just... Like, some spooks that was supposed to be happening. Well, honestly, after that, I really have no interest in continuing playing. Um... I mean... It had a slightly creepy atmosphere. There's definitely some work that needs to be done. If I remember right, I have another game installed on Game Jolt currently. And it's either this game or that game that it is said in the description, I'm 12 years old. So I mean, if it's this game for 12, you did a great job. But from the constructive criticism point of view, age is irrelevant. Have somebody else proofread your text. It doesn't make sense in multiple places. The wrong word is put in there. I feel like it was typed up originally on Microsoft Word, and then the um, autocorrect was used on Microsoft Word, and it chose the wrong word. Because like when you do spell check on Microsoft Word, it chooses the word that's closest to what you typed. So it doesn't necessarily put in the correct word, just the closest word to what you typed. So have somebody actually proofread it and read it aloud. If you read everything you've typed aloud and it sounds fluid and it sounds nice, then it's good. It'll work. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to flow. And there were multiple times in the sentences it kind of was jumbly. Um, the monster wasn't really that scary, but that could also be just me. So, I mean, that's not really constructive criticism. That's just simply a, my point of view and my opinion, which has no place in actual cr constructive criticism. But, I mean... For what it was, for an alpha demo, it's definitely playable. It almost crashed at the beginning for me. If anyone saw, like, the milky white across the screen, the program stopped responding for a second. And I'm going to leave that in so you can see that it happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, it was an okay game so far. I do plan on... Uh, I will leave a review and shamelessly self-plug myself in the review. Because this is sort of also a video review in a way. I do give my opinion of the game at the end. It's not as good as Descent, but Descent had such a simple premise that it would be hard to mess it up. But it was, it took that premise and did it well. This is your normal hunt the key game. Except that on a couple, on a few of them, it's instead of hunt the key, it's hunt the chemical which is basically still hunt the key, it's just hunt X object. But I'm gonna stop rambling for now. I've got another game lined up to record, and I kinda hope it's a bit more promising than this. I mean, this is okay, but it needs some work. Now we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.